Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. Good morning everybody. So it's, um, it's actually turned out to be a very, very windy day. We had a few more things uh, in our mind that we were going to do. Um, and instead we're kind of like, I don't want to go outside today in the dinghy <laughs> because I feel like we're going to get really, really, really wet if we uh, go in the dinghy anywhere. Um, we could brave, we probably will brave it later to go to shore. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of an inside morning. As is plugging away at the laptop, working, working on episodes for you guys. I'm going to get our shower sorted. Um, and it sounds really silly. Yes, we do have a shower. Um, and yes, we do shower. Just going to just gonna clarify that one. Yes, we do shower. But since we've been back, the shower is usually... Um, so the shower is now dry, the bottom of the shower. Um, and what it usually is, it's, it's very, very wet. Um, the shower water drains into the bilge. And that's apparently a normal thing on a Tayana. Um, but for us, I'm not a massive fan of that. Adam as well. Um, by having the water draining into the bilge, it means that you get like really, really stinky shower water stuck at the bottom of your bilge. Um, the bilge pump is going like way more than it should do. Um, and it's just like, I just don't like it. Adam doesn't like it. And so it's kind of been on our list for a little while. Um, the water gets stuck in the bottom of the shower and we kind of need to like, you know, poke and prod and, and it's, if it's just gravity kind of getting it down, getting the water down the tube, it doesn't really work so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the shower pump onto, um, no, what we're going to do is we're going to fix a water pump onto the bottom of the shower with the drain and uh, we're going to have a nice little switch like everyone does in their boats. A nice little switch so when you press it the water gets sucked out the bottom of the shower and out overboard. So I will, what we need to do this morning and what I've actually already done this morning um, is I've taken our fridge uh, unit out and this was our engine driven fridge that we pretty much stopped using after about a week, two weeks it didn't work. Um, and it's like a massive, massive unit. So I've taken that out this morning, which has given us so much more space in the engine bay. And along with doing a shower today, my mission, sorry, our mission throughout the next, um, well, a while is to kind of declutter our engine bay. Um, it's very, very busy in there. The old owners had a lot of stuff in there and I don't think some of it needs to be um, still hanging around, to be honest. So that's kind of a little bit of our ongoing mission at the moment too, as well. Okay, so, um, so this is our plan. The water goes through the drain here and then it gets, uh, anything gets stuck in the strainer here, hair or anything like that. Uh, it goes then through here onto the water pump. The water pump then goes to a Y valve. Up here is where the existing sink is for our bathroom. And out here is where the seacock is. We wanted to avoid adding another seacock to the boat, which is why we've chosen to use the Y valve. Um, there's pretty much our logic is why add another hole to the boat when you don't have to. So there's going to be a lot, a lot of uh, taking of hoses today. And I, throughout my two years, year and a half on this boat, I have gotten notoriously less patient with hoses. So I'm gonna see how today goes. <laughs> I may lose my temper and the camera might have to stop running several times today. This is the hose we plan to splice the wire valve into so that we can use the sink outlet seacock for the water pump. Kiara's using a heat gun here to heat up the hose so that it's a lot easier to remove. Okay, it's off. Whew, all right. So this goes here. Ah, it's too small. What size is this? Doesn't fit there. Doesn't fit that. Seriously, what size is this stupid thing? Project postponed for now because we need more parts, as is the case with pretty much every single project that we start on a boat. So, this lovely little three hour, 
thing is that I'm now probably going to take about a day and a half. <laughs> okay, so I actually had to run to the shops to go and get some more joiners, of which I now have plenty. Um, it's taken a little longer than I thought, um, as usual, as with pretty much every single boat job, um, you always realise that you need more stuff than you initially thought, so you had to go and run out for it. So all of the hoses that have been taken off the shower, the drain and the outlet are all now going to have to go back on this with the joiners attached. Oh, trying to get hose onto the end of the shower uh, drain. I just hope I'm pointing it in the right direction, this heat gun. Doing up the hose clamp. Alright, now I need to get, I'm going to chop that one off and attach it to. So um, Adam has put together this uh, little tool, I guess, to test DC electrical things. Um, so you connect the negative and the positive to your electrical device that you want to test and you plug it in in the USB socket. So Okay, so I've put all of the hoses onto the um, joiners and as you can see there are a lot of joiners so this took a really 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 long time. Um, and I've also replaced a few hoses as well that were kind of a bit dud, maybe original hoses which when you consider this is a 39 year old boat I think they're overdue for a change. Um, and I've kind of measured where things should go. So next thing to do will be to pop the water pump onto well where it's going to go and also the uh, the strainer as well will go here and uh, and I need to drill holes in here to make sure that they're in the right place so when it connects up it should connect there and to here and after that we'll do the electrics and then it should pretty much be done. I've just brought in my assistant here. Final steps. Hoses are going on. It's quite a lot of hose you've got here. Uh, yeah, Did I didn't... you really need all of this? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I don't know whether it's bad for it. I just thought if we want, if we wanted to use it as a peak hole, it might be beneficial to have it going over the... Yeah. yeah. We'll see. It can only pump so far. Yeah, I know. this shouldn't be too much of a stress. It's only a foot. Two. No, it's the height. It's not the length. It's oh, I see, up I see. and around and down. That's the issue. Okay. It's called head pressure. And it can only have so much. That's why a deep build is a pain in the bum. So it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. We've had another wonderful 4.30 a.m. start. Thank you, jet lag. Mind you, it's not begrudging. It's quite awesome getting up at half four and getting lots of things done before the sun even rises. Um, we pretty much rode ourselves off yesterday doing the uh, shower water pump installation. We're not quite done yet. We have to finish out some wiring. Um, we've got to put some power into the engine bay and wire up the switch, the little squishy switch, the push button switch for it, um, and that is all. Uh, Kiara is going to also do some sanding on the um, the base of the shower, like the catchment area, just because all the paint's flaking away. It, broadly speaking, we've got another morning packed full of boat jobs. All right, this is what we have to work with. 
So as you can see, the top layer of the paint up here is all peeling off. And you can see a little bit of fiberglass underneath. It's just like, uh, it's just like a little bit of a shambles. Um, so if we try and get it all sorted, all nice layers, then hopefully the water should drain out of here. Um, and there won't be like clogs of paint in uh, stuck into the um, stuck into our drain. So meanwhile, why, while I'm doing the sanding, Adam has probably uh, didn't want to start doing this, but I've recruited him into doing it. God, how ancient is that? <laughs> wow. It's not even connected to anything. Is it not? No, it's just not. Not even wired up. It's just. I don't know, throw back to the old wa original wiring or something. <laughs> throw back to the 40s. Oh wow, look at that. God, that's so, so good. So Ads actually made this piece of wood. Okay, he cut a piece of wood. <laughs> he didn't make the wood. <laughs> um, so he cut the piece of wood, initially started painting it, realised the paint looked crap, changed it, put some vinyl, white vinyl on it, and now it genuinely looks like like something that you bought out of a shop. He's obviously put the switch in too. How cool is that? He's done such a good job. Oh, I need to wipe the screen because there's so much dust everywhere. Um, so the bottom of the shower is now pretty well um, smooth. There's a really strange uh, lip, I guess, where somebody's obviously tried to fiberglass and then uh, like fiberglass over fiberglass, but it hasn't stuck. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna put like um, an epoxy filler in there just so no water kind of seeps underneath it. Um, and then I need to put a primer over it um, so that it's all waterproof and kind of ready for paint. Um, and yeah, I just need to acetone and uh, just clean up the rest of this, this place because it's uh, so dusty right now. <sighs> One problem with just working in this boat is that there's always like really, really small spaces to work in. <sighs> okay, almost there, almost there. Um, meanwhile, Ads is, um, is pretty well, pretty, sorry, Ads has pretty much put the switch in and wired everything up. I've heard the pump going. So, kind of just waiting on me now to finish the paint. Oh, this is potent. This is really potent stuff. Oh, I opened it up without the mask on and I was like, Ooh, smell. Ooh. Um, so I think it's a, it's a two to one mix. I think I've mixed up way more than I have to. But that's not a bad thing. The, the reason why I use this rather than the usual kind of resin that um, we have in our cupboards is kind of really just to use it up. Um, we bought it a little while ago and it's just been sitting in our cupboard so I'm just using it for kind of like small jobs now um, and this is the perfect job for it I think. So I've put a second layer of paint on the shower floor and it should be good to now get the silicon gun out. Uh, I just need to go around the edges and just make sure that any areas that kind of had gaps in that um, can go into other areas of the boat, i.e. there was a gap in between the floor and the walls that kind of went into the engine bay. Um, so I'm just going to fill those areas in with some silicon. Oh, look how good that looks. Woohoo! So I still need to attach um, a little bits of wood around here that came off when I was sanding. So it will look better. Well, it's certainly not my best silicone work, but it does the job. I am going to show you though, when it's all put together, um, rather than now, because when it's all put together, it will be covering some of the silicon. So you won't see that. Um, but otherwise, it's actually, I think the job's done now. Everything's waterproofed, everything's electrical is uh, connected, and obviously the pump actually works. Um, the last thing we need to do, I think, is, uh, is clear the drains and then we, uh, we can trial it. All right, first shower drainage test. We've, uh, we're all scrubbed up, now let's see if this thing leaks. Yeah, got a water flow. So far, 
tyres and water going down on that. No, not so far. The <laughs> water isn't going down so far. I'm also going to remind people that the bottom of the shower is grey. It's not <laughs> crazy grey water. Thank you. <laughs> Although maybe it might be. How's the water level going now? Still the same. Still seems to be the same. Oh wait, it's getting down. Okay, it's going down. It's going down. That whole section, I reckon, should just be switched out for it. an adapter mm -hmm. instead of a threaded. There's no need for that to be threaded the way it is now. Just to have the part. We'll get one. So, how's the water level? All right, it's pretty well drained. Really? Yeah. Sweet. So, okay. Successfully drained the entire contents of the shower. It only took 45 minutes, and we lost. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, and it only dripped like three things, three drops. So that's pretty good. I can fix those leaks. So I'm going to call it a successful upgrade, experiment. Upgrade. I think it worked. I think we did well. And uh, I kind of wish we a... got a switch now though. Like, oh uh, yeah, I... having to hold it a, a thing while there. to drain that yeah. whole reservoir. So I kind of wish it was just to switch it on like while yeah, you're showering and just yeah. let it do its thing while you're washing away. And yeah, then that's true. Come back in 10 minutes when it's dry and then but having to stand there's a yeah. bit of a nuisance. Maybe yeah. I'll switch it. I'll switch, switch it out. Oh.